Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tripwire, and today I'm playing some Modern Warfare 2 Team Deathmatch on Invasion. Uh, I'm going to be using the Vector with Red Dot. Uh, my backup is a Striker with Grip, uh, Semtexes, Stuns, and my perks are a Scavenger, I believe. It might be Sleight of Hand, I'm not too sure. No, it is Scavenger. <laughs> uh, stopping Power and Steady Aim. And uh, this game is actually being played on the PC. I know uh, last week or so I uploaded another Modern Warfare 2 PC game, but uh, it was a live commentary, so I didn't really get to talk about what's going on exactly, because it wasn't focused too much on the game itself. It was just kind of random chatter in the background. And um, right here, I'm actually switching my controls because I am playing on my brother's computer, and he runs... A different settings than I do so I quickly had to uh, change that I'm sorry to uh, <laughs> have to put that into the video but I'll make f make up for it uh, later on in the game so first off I'm gonna talk about the the vector I kinda like the gun and I've started using it uh, while playing Modern Warfare 2 uh, because it's got such a, a rapid uh, fire a good rate of fire and I kinda like that because I could uh, get kills a lot faster so some people might see it as a bit of a noob gun, but I mean I like it and I put the red dot because it just seems a little bit easier than the default iron sights. And um, my main point that I want to talk about today is uh, kind of a bit about console wars and uh, everyone always talks about which one is better, PS3 or uh, Xbox 360. And no one ever seems to argue PC gaming. Now, PC gaming was huge back in the day. Today, it's kind of not so big, mostly because of the problem with uh, hackers and people who add mods and cheat and whatever, because it's so much easier to do on the PC as opposed to the consoles. But as far as, you know, the standard gameplay goes, um, I find, uh, you know, in the discussions between PS3 and Xbox, which one is better? Um, none of them can ever compete with uh, the the quality of gaming that you could have on a PC. I mean, it's just uh, you're so much more accurate with a mouse and keyboard, and that's why I love um, Modern Warfare 2 more on the PC than on uh, the consoles because I'm much more comfortable to use it, and it's a lot more fun for me. I mean, yeah, it gets annoying with having hackers. Uh, in like every other game or you know jumping jumping into a lobby where you know you could jump into the sky and have rapid fire noob tubes and you know that kind of sucks and uh, it's happened multiple times where I'll join a lobby and it'll auto boost me to level 70 and that's kind of frustrating I mean some people like that but that's not for me I want to uh, earn my my rank uh, legit and I want to feel like I've actually accomplished something not just you know handed to me by entering a random lobby so that's always sucked and that's something that's been a problem uh, while playing Modern Warfare 2 in the past because this has probably been my most played game uh, ever on any console, uh, Modern Warfare 2 on PC. I think according to Steam I've racked up over 500 hours uh, of game time and uh, I mean like if I leave the game running I think that still counts to it but I mean that's still a good amount of time and in, this game has been out for ages and well ages maybe like a year or so a year and a half but I mean it's still a lot of fun to play and I usually play it when I get tired of uh, Black Ops on on PS3 or anything like that and it's something relaxing and it's it's always good fun I don't like Modern Warfare 2 too much on the PS3 but I as far as PS3 goes, I prefer playing Black Ops on the PS3 over the PC. I mean, it's all different. I guess it's kind of how the, the game plays out. And I find that PC PC Black Ops is really awful. And I don't even play it anymore. But uh, Modern Warfare 2 will always be a, a huge game for me. And um, it's really how I got into uh, Call of Duty in general. I mean... I did have COD 4 and I had it about a month before Modern Warfare 2 was released and I had it on the PS3 and I didn't play it too much, my brother was more into that. And like I've said in past videos, my original game was uh, the first Battlefield Bad Company and that was on the PS3 but 
Once I got into Modern Warfare 2 on PC, I never looked back at the consoles, and I spent a whole year on uh, PC, and I loved it, and I still do uh, to this day, and it's such a great game to uh, to play. I mean, yeah, it's got its noob tubers, and their commando knife runners, and that always kind of sucks. I mean, to be honest, it is kind of fun to do that at times, and I myself have done that in, in the past, and even uh, more recently, but that's not the point as long as you're enjoying the game I think that's kind of the point of it and um, just a sec here I'm gonna go back to the gameplay here I pick up my predator missile uh, my kill streaks in this game are predator missile harrier strike and stealth bomber uh, kind of my like hidden uh, favorite kill streak is uh, the stealth bomber I don't get it in this game because I die as I'm calling in my harrier strike and that kind of sucked because I was hoping to get it for you guys. But, um, you know, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I mean, it just happened. He happened to see me right here. But, uh, you know, it's still a, a good gameplay in my opinion. And uh, I picked up a good amount of kills. I mean, um, I, I just can't talk enough about this game and how much that I love it. I mean, I, I keep repeating the same things <laughs> over and over again. But, uh, I mean, I prefer to usually use lower kill streaks, and if I do use a higher kill streaks, um, I generally don't use, like, Chopper Gunner or, uh, or AC-130. And, um, maybe the highest I'll roll is, uh, like a pave low, but that's usually kind of rare for me. And, I mean, I'll be honest and go out and say I've never gotten a nuke in the amount of time that I've ever played this game. I have never gotten gotten a tactical nuke, and I don't see the big hype about it. I mean, uh, I know my brother has done it a few times, I think twice or so, and I think, you know, it's kind of cool to say, hey, look, I've gotten the nuke before, and there's people who've gotten it hundreds and hundreds of times, but I mean, I'm not that good of a player, but I still enjoy to play the game, and I don't find that getting a tactical nuke, uh, I mean, it's nice to say that you have it, but I mean, I don't think it's that necessary. And, I mean, I don't really look towards getting it because I find getting a 7 kill streak on my own is kind of tough. And, uh, I mean, that kind of sounds like I'm a horrible player. But, I mean, I prefer just to go with something I could get more often and get more kills that way. I find the nuke is useless because, I mean, you just end the game and you don't really get many kills out of it. So, that's my opinion on the whole tactical nuke thing. And... Hopefully in Modern Warfare 3, uh, either I could do a little bit better and get a nuke if they put it into the game, and if not, you know, I'll still enjoy the game. Uh, I've said it before, I will be getting Modern Warfare 3 and I'll be making videos for you guys. I'm not sure which console to get it on yet. I don't know if I'm going to do PS3 or uh, PC. Um, PS3 is always easier for me to record. The problem with that is it's uh, a worse quality and... I'm not usually. I, I find I'm better with a mouse and keyboard than with a uh, an analog controller. But I mean, uh, everyone has their kind of strengths and weaknesses. But uh, for PC gaming, um, it's a little bit harder for me to record since my computer isn't too good with the the programs that I use. So I like in this situation, I'm using my brother's computer to uh, to record it, and uh, obviously the quality is a lot better than with my Dazzle. But I mean, if I were to get like a, a Hoppage HD PVR, then uh, console recording will be obviously a lot better. I definitely hope they have theater mode in Modern Warfare 3 because that'll make uh, my life a lot easier simply because I won't have to record absolutely every game in the hopes of eventually hitting um, a really good gameplay that I could share with you guys. At least in theater mode, once I play it, I could go back and pick the one I want and not have to waste too much space on my computer uh, recording everything. So that'll pretty much do it for today. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, leave me a comment below. Uh, or if you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to, uh, to look at it. Um, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And uh, leave a rating and give me your feedback on the video itself. Other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Once again, my name is Tripwire. Uh, I'm just going to wait a sec to find out what my final score is. And uh, I actually pick up the final kill cam here. Uh, my score is... Uh, just be a second here, guys, because I don't quite remember it. 
I believe it's 24 and 10. I think that's what it is. You'll see for yourselves. Yeah, I was right. It's 24 and 10. Uh, thanks, guys. Take care.